Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Mech Spotlight. The mech of the day is the fabulous, the wondrous, the most beloved MD. MD, are you, now you tell me, I just called this episode exciting. Oh, but it is. The MD is the king of the warm fuzzies, and it's absolutely one of the best mechs on the field. Also one of the most overlooked. Overlooked is right, I guess. I mean, it has really low health, it's slow, and it's practically unarmed. Okay, yes, all true. It's a support. What do you expect? Zephyr and Cheetah are also both support mechs, and they're some of the deadliest mechs in the arena. I expect more. Yeah, well, the MD can do something neither of them can do. Something no other mech in the arena can do. What? Heal people? Exactly. Or, well, approximately. It's a repair field, and it's working on giant robots. Okay, healing, repairing, same thing. Is it really that good? It's critical. MD puts out its area of effect healing for 10 seconds. Anything nearby will get healed. It'll even heal itself, though not as much. But enemies can interrupt it. Yeah, it's true. If an MD gets hit, it will stop healing itself. If a mech it's healing gets hit, that mech will stop getting healed. For a few seconds, anyway. You don't use repair field while the fighting is intense. Then why on earth do you use it? Why is it so good? You still need to ask? Healing. Think of all the weapons in the game with 6, 8, even 15 second reload times. You can step into a duel and fully heal an ally before the enemy even has bullets to shoot back at you. If you've got halfway decent teammates and you keep them fighting twice as long, you're coming out on top. Well, I guess so. I never really thought about it like that, but I do get taken out by attrition an awful lot. Exactly. Two tanks can hold a point for a while. A tank and a healer can hold a point pretty much forever. All right, fine. I'm convinced. It has its uses. So how do you fight with this thing? It has guns, right? Well, you're stuck on the lighter side of the armory, but yes. Javelin racks are pretty useful, since they let you attack enemies without risking getting shot at. They also let you shoot over the heads of the tanks you'll be hiding behind. Yeah, that makes sense, but you can't use javelins everywhere. Some arenas have roofs. Very true. If you want a more flexible kit, you can also use thermal lances and stasis beams. Overheat is a fantastic status effect, and stasis can cripple flimsy scout mechs. You'll need to use the lighter stasis beams, but I could see that working, I suppose. And overheat is really good, especially if you're going to have friends around but neither weapon is very destructive. Well, if you're interested in destruction, you can use missile racks or arc torrents once you've upgraded your MD. Pulse cannons you can try out sooner, but all those options will mean exposing yourself to enemy fire. And only the pulse cannons work well at range. I see the problem. Yeah, you can drive off flankers or finish off enemies, but you're not usually going to be racking up kills. But that's not your job. An MD isn't there to be good on its own. It's there to make everyone around it better. Yeah, you know, that really does make the MD unique. I can't think of another mech that's so focused on making your allies stronger. Get an Ares in front and a Guardian right behind, and the MD would create a nearly unstoppable power trio. No kidding. And the best part is, everyone on your team loves you. Ha, <laughs> you got that right. Now I want to go try this thing out. Well, I think we're wrapped up here. Maybe you guys also want to try dusting off your MDs? Let us know in the comments. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome Mech Arena content.